Taste the fish. Woo. YouTube Foodie Fam, you're looking at the beautiful world of Pandora. The world of Avatar. I mean, you want to talk about detail? Yeah, you're looking at the floating mountains right now. You want to talk about attention to detail? This is crazy. This experience is amazing. And there's one individual of many that made this trip amazing. It's my main man, Tom. Dame, how you doing, dude? I'm doing good, Tom. Right. How you feeling? I'm feeling fine, man. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm excited to show you Satula Canteen and some of the food of Pandora, the world of Avatar. It's going to be great food. Are you, are you ready for it? Wait, now, what is it uh, called now? It's called Satuli. Satuli? Canteen. Okay, Satuli Canteen. Yes. So and this is like the world of Avatar food. Yes. Is what you're telling me. Yeah, this is your world, dude, right? Oh, you're all man. about food, man. Yes. Right? Yes. And, and, and the attractions are great and all that, but come on, man. You're going to come here first and foremost for food. And Indeed. your folks are going to come here first and foremost to hear your food review. Indeed. Yes. So here is Satuli Canteen. Okay. All right. Oh, and wow. You, you got several offerings in terms of your entrees. You have a couple. Oh, we got the menu out here? Yeah, right here. Okay, there. okay. All right. Let's take a look at this menu. Let's see what they got. Yeah, you got, you got some slow roasted grilled Ooh. beef, right? You got some wood fired grilled chicken. Mm, okay. you, you got some fish fillet. Right? Yeah. Now, now I don't think this is going to be your speed, but for those who don't do meat, right? You got some tofu, right? Okay. Okay. For my tofu have, lovers out there, they even have these bao buns that are mm -hmm. almost like cheeseburgers. They're Come like on, exotic Tom. looking cheeseburgers. Now I don't know that it's going to be in a bun. Yeah. In I a bun. I don't know if it's going to be quite the cheeseburgers you're used to, but you know, for kids and for for those who want to try something more akin to what they're used to back on Earth, right? Okay. We're on Pandora, dude. That's an option. And then okay. you got these two killer desserts. You got oh, yeah. uber chocolate, if you love chocolate. All right. And then look at this blueberry cream cheese mousse. What? Oh, and, what? And, and that's like a lemon, you know, tart lemon on top <sighs> that complements the blueberry cream cheese mousse. Woo! Now, I love sweets. Okay. I mean, you love savory, but I really love sweets. And I love that. So you're going to have to hopefully so try some of that as well. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. While you're standing in line, you're waiting for the rides here within Pandora. You have the flight, it could be the river ride. Mobile ordering on your My Disney app. So that way you can order your food and then what happens? I mean, will the food be ready for when they come here, Tom? Yeah, but what happens next? you come here and you say, I'm here. The food is quickly delivered to you or actually you go up to the line, you get the food. And so you're not waiting in a line like, like a putz, right? Right. You're, you're getting your food and if there's any kind of waiting, you're, you're sitting at the table for a little bit. You're chilling. Okay. Right? Okay. Because your time's valuable. Exactly. And you need to be spending time savoring the food, not waiting in line. I like that time. I like that. All yeah. right. But this is how it breaks out. That's create your own satouli bowl. Mm -hmm. And so you would select your protein, you select your base, and then you select your sauce. And mm -hmm. your hawks go in. Oh, 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 we're gonna have to get to that Your later, food fam. Oh, Your feast awaits. Wow, oh, they're, bringing, they're bringing out all the greatness right now. Oh, oh man, oh. Mm. Mm. dessert came out the blueberry cheese. Oh, back up, back up. Mm. real quick just to let you know who's gonna be filming today it's gonna be Adrian you probably seen it in a picture with me earlier on my Instagram if you follow me official dame drop stop playing games Adrian are you nervous yes the pressure's on so. you think you can hold this thing steady <laughs> yes I can yeah. right, you're not gonna be all over the place right they're gonna let you know about yourself in the comments so okay. I'm just letting you know ahead of time you guys will have to let me know how I did all right boom I'm passing it over go ahead and check that out right there Little housemade chips, right? Find that. Almost like sweet potatoes. I don't even know if they're sweet potato chips. They taste like they are. Let me try the other one real quick. It looks like the plain version. Ooh. A little more crunch on that one. A little more bite. A little more snap back on the plain ones. Extra flavor right here. You're gonna go for the sweet potato chips. That's what you want. Mm-hmm. 
Adrian, come in. Oh, these little balls. You got me messed up. I don't know what to expect. When I look at them, they just kind of remind me of a little vitamin E pills. When you hurt yourself, then you gotta pop them and then squeeze the vitamin E to get right with life. I don't know. I'm gonna try them for the first time. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Maybe I'll try them at the end. Let's start with this grilled chicken. I'm all over the place. Stick with your boy. We got some creamy herb sauce with the grilled chicken. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. That grilled chicken. Oh man, seasoned up just right. Soft, tender. Sometimes when you mess with grilled chicken, if they don't do it right, it's all hard in the exterior, dry in the interior. No. Soft, nice little bite, juicy. And then you hit it inside that creamy herb sauce. It'll change your life, I promise you. Got a little bit of the whole grain rice up over here. Let's tap that in some of that sauce too. Mm. Whole grain rice, more of an earthy flow to it. All right? You get a little more bite on it. Harder, harder grains on the rice. Mmm. It might be sitting there. Might be sitting there just, just for a little bit. Like, if I was to hit the rice right now, rice get like a three piece, but that chicken, that grilled chicken, is going for that five all day. But I'm gonna keep going, because we got a lot to cover, a lot of ground to cover. All right, pow. I'm over here with the beef. Adrian, bring it in on the beef. Bring, bring them in because they're hungry. You got to feed them. When you're sitting there holding the camera, you got to feed the people, right? So, blah. A little bit of beef action. And I know what some of you are saying out there because I know how y'all do. We've been rocking out for a long time. You're like, dang, why that beef pink, though? Why that, be, why that beef pink? Oh, they didn't have it on there long enough. You have to understand, when you're going for flavor, when you're going for that, that soft, tender fender bender, Sometimes you gotta hit it with that medium rare action. I got, I got a lot of beef going on. I'm gonna just go ahead and pop it on my fork over here. Give it a couple times around. However, everything that you see on my plate right now, you can see it being prepared because they have like just the open window right there. All right, then check it out for yourself. Cause you know sometimes the kitchen's in the back, kitchen's closed off. You don't know what they are doing back there, right? But now up over here, they're gonna hold you down. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right. All right. Beef. Whole lot of chew happening right there. And you know me. Your boy's not all about the choo-choo game. It can get a little crazy sometimes. Seasoned up right, but still on the gummy side of life. So that beef, you mess around, it's going to get that two and a half from your boy. You're right. It probably needed a little more love up on the grill. I probably would have toughened it up and I wouldn't have been sitting there for an hour, sitting there working out my whole entire gum line and the jaw just getting in extra work, putting it overtime to get through the beef. It was a little crazy. Oh, where we going? Where we going? We going cheeseburger? Yeah, yeah, we going cheeseburger, steamed bun action. That's where we going next. You just got a manhandler. Just pick that thing up. Uh, sticky bun, get off me, get off me. And um, I'm a little nervous. I, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, and nobody ever said, damn, you get your cheeseburger inside of a sticky bun. Nobody ever threw that rock at me. But they did this, boop, hold that, right? So I'm gonna, boop, hold that for a moment. Take a bite, stick it. I wish I had something to dip it in, I really don't. It's just as is, you <laughs> know? Mm. You are getting that cheeseburger flavor, like that at home preparation. I heard a lot of individuals say, you start thinking McDonald's when you eat the cheeseburger. I instantaneously think McDonald's. However, that steamed bun probably would've took you there because McDonald's bun eh, almost has like that similar consistency, right? But inside, I would think what I would do, I would actually add a little more of that cheese flex up in there. That's gonna actually take you to the next level. Not half bad. I'm talking about like a three and a half, not half bad out of five. You know, I would even toss some more onions up in here. Yeah, I, I would take it there because I got the steam bun on the exterior. So now that means you got to fight with the flavor just a little bit. But the flavor is there within the beef, so it's nothing that goes in the wrong direction. It's going to take you on a tour that you weren't ready for. I mean, cheeseburger inside the steam bun. Where you get that at? Nowhere. But right here inside Pandora, the world of Avatar. Just letting you know. Just in case you was checking. Oh, 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 oh. What we got? Uh oh. Something looks real nice over there, Chef. Chef, what you doing to me, Chef? We have 
our night blossom. Ooh, okay. Wait, break that night blossom down. What do we have going on here? This we have a layer of desert pear. Okay. Granny Smith. Mm-hmm. More desert pear. Mm-hmm. With our passion fruit boba balls bursting on top. Bursting on, okay, bursting. all right. When you drink this, it is going to burst in your mouth. Wow. Oh, what a chef, what is this? This is our pineapple and cream cheese lumpia. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna let that set for just a moment. It's a little warm. It's a little warm? But it's gonna be awesome. Chef, I'm a savage. I, 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 I can take this down with the beer warm. I can do this. Oh my God, did you see, did you see what we have happening right now? He said pineapple and cream cheese. You see it's all crusted up. It looked like little sugar crystals on top. Look, normally I do dessert at the end. I'm gonna have to get into this right now. I'm playing too much. Hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 you see it dancing right? It's dancing on the way up out of here. Hold on. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to just let y'all wait till later. I gotta get right into this one. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Oh wow. You probably think to yourself that Disney would have a bakery, right? But when I took a bite, that's the first thing that came to mind. Fresh out the bakery. Light, crispy, sweet on the exterior. You know where the flavor starts. Flavor starts right here, right when it starts to get real dark, mixed in with the little sugar crystals, right? That cream cheese just kind of oozes its way down your soul. It makes its own path. That pineapple, the sweetness from the pineapple on top of the sugar. Crusted, light, flaky. I'm talking about like croissant flaky on the interior, right? Take a look at that one more time. I want you to go ahead and get, get a nibble. Foodie fam, get a nibble because this is nothing short of amazing. Oh, that's a five. That's a five all day. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. Mm. We got so much more ground to cover. Hold on, I'm with you. I'll be here right now just taking a break, just snacking on these. It'll be terrible. We won't get anywhere. Tom, I see the way you're over here looking at my little snacks, Tom. I'm I watching you. I don't trust you. I'm watching you. All right. All right. I'm going to take it down. Adrian, bring them in one more time again on my little Dragon Ball Z. What is this? Like, can I squeeze and that thing break so you can see? Oh, whoa. Oh, I can. I can. All right, there it is. There it is. That's the explosion. So that's what's gonna happen when I hit this thing. That's the explosion that you just saw. That's what's gonna happen when you take it down. All right. And if you notice something with the straw, take a look, take a look at the straw right there. Big game on the straw. Not your regular plastic straw right here. Now this is, this is all about the earth right now. This is all about recyclable straws. And the straw is extra thick. You see the opening? So that way you're gonna actually just be sipping on these little Dragon Balls that are on top of your drink. It's gonna happen. Mmm. Mmm. Okay now. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting raspberry, raspberry cherry, lemon slushy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, that's what I'm getting on the flavors. It's something crazy. It's amazing. Hot day, that's what you need in your life. Even if it's not a hot day, that's what you need in your life. So, Actually, it's a win for a drink. I and mean, I gotta hit one in the ball. I didn't get the ball. The ball didn't come up through the straw. So I'm gonna take it down by itself. Oh yeah. Okay. It's like passion fruit. Ooh. Oh, this is so tropical. All type of juices and berries on this right here. Perfect connection. And of course, still sweet. So you're gonna be like, I gotta keep going back for more. Gotta put it down. We got so much more ground to cover. I don't even know when they're done. All right, kids. You're wondering what's on the kids' menu. Parents, you're wondering what's on the kids' menu. Mm. I'm all over the place. This hot dog, it looks like we have a, a nice buttery glisten little kind of roll over the hot dog. Kind of sticky just a little bit as I press down. I'm getting some pushback on the stickiness of it. I don't even have no ketchup on the hot dog. Is it ketchup on this? I don't know. I'm going to just hit it as is, see what happens. Like a hot dog croissant. Ooh. Once again, we are back to the bakery flow. Grab yourself up a warm croissant. Mmm. A little opening on the inside. Plump hot dog. Hot dog was juicy. Hot dog was nice. Add the little croissant to it. Take that bite. Fresh, warm. 
almost hit a little bit of butter up on the croissant itself. And you already know the hot dog flow when it's plump and juicy. That's an automatic win. Nice little combination. It's getting a four piece from your main man, Dan. Blueberry mousse. All right. Let's, let's go ahead and break that thing open. I'm gonna do it from this side, that way you ain't gotta move. Bam. Blueberry mousse. How's that thing looking? Look. I don't know. Won't even lie to y'all though. I don't, I don't, mm. Mm. <laughs> Give it a try, right? Only one way to find out, baby. Okay. It's like jello and pudding and got blended together. Some blueberry flavoring up on there. That's that consistency. That's the kind of flow of this soft. Not too sweet, savory, not bad. Not not bad at all. And I, was, I don't even know what this is. White chocolate. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. With a thin little bench press of white chocolate on the exterior, melts in your mouth. Well, it's gonna melt in my hand too if I keep holding it. White chocolate. Oh, that's awesome. Nice little breaker right there. I like that. Hawks Royale. Right All right. Let's go in. Mm. Ooh, that's, that's strong and bitter. Okay. Okay, Hawks. Look. On our mousse up over here, your little cheesecake mousse that Adrian, you know what I'm saying, told me I need to get up on. Mess around. That's going to get a four piece. The L. I give the L a three. It's not bad. You know, especially coming from individual, I don't run up on beer all the time. So to have this green, nice little flow going for the canteen up over here, the Santuli Flex, this is a nice little blend. You see the layout. The layout is crazy. That means you have nothing but options when you come to Santuli Canteen. You got your drinks on the exterior. You have, I believe it's a, a 48 different options that you could go through between your protein. You saw the menu a little bit earlier. Overall, if I was to blaze the whole entire table up, I'm giving the whole entire table a four piece. Heavy four. And I'm saying that it's good. It's where you it gets the Dame Drops stamp of approval. And I got the very first food review here at Pandora. That's why I'm just mad excited about that. So uh, much love, you know what I'm saying, to the whole team at Disney World holding your boy down, bringing me out for the Pandora World of Avatar experience with traveling dads. Hashtag visit Pandora, hashtag Disney kids, and of course hashtag hosted, cause you know, they, they hosted your boy. Had me all up in the Animal Kingdom, running around. I was, what village were you staying at, Tom? Kadani? Boom. Staying at Kadani Village, it was amazing. I'm talking about all type of spacious room. If you're not following me on Instagram, you might want to, because I did a whole entire breakdown of the room that I was in. Just room for everybody, the whole entire family. And you know the summertime's creeping up, so you definitely gotta bring the family out here. You gotta check out the whole entire, Adrian, you gotta check Adrian out. She's holding me down in the camera. You gotta check my main man, Tom, cause Tom was dealing with my madness for the last past three days. I don't know how he did it, but he managed to do it. She made me a Dame Drops, rocking out one more time. Y'all know what to do. In the comment section below, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the food. Let me know what you think about the whole entire experience I broke down. Let me know what you think about my camera woman, Adrian. You know what I'm saying? She did a great job. Just let me know so that way she'll know, all right? And you know how we get down every single Monday through Friday. More and more and more super official. Food of these kids, digging baby. I know you can't. Hey, listen, man.